Hi guys, I have something interesting I want to show you today. Take a look at this. So I created an enclosure for Sensor Tech 2 and uh, watched DevPack. Um, yeah, it took me, I was quiet for like, uh, you know, didn't do too much for a few weeks in a row because I have renovation going on here at home, but hey, uh, this was actually a pretty slow uh, going project. But here we are. So I designed and 3D printed the uh, enclosure for uh, for the watch. And really thinking maybe eventually I will make an actual functional watch using this thing. So yeah, I, I designed the case. Uh, I used uh, somebody's uh, design of this uh, kind of strap strap here. Uh, I will include a link to it um, down below, and also include link how to. Uh, design it on how to put it together on my blog. Also, I will share this uh, file on Thingiverse or you know, or somewhere else uh, with you guys if you're interested to print one. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look in details. So, uh, we have a enclosure, uh, the, the box or case. I try to use minimal, you know, wall space in order to make it as compact as possible. Um, yeah, well, it turned out to be a little bit bulky, but hey, the sensor tag plus uh, watch dev pack is pretty tall. It's a pretty, pretty tall thing anyways. It's like 13 millimeters or something, or maybe 12 millimeters. Uh, I have one millimeter of this top wall uh, here. Uh, okay, let's uh, look. Oh yeah, by the way, this uh, strap uses this kind of mechanism of attaching, of, of uh, securing it. So, um, yeah, I have those slots here, which are 22 millimeters. I think they are standard kind of slots for, um, for watch. Um, um, geez, forgot the word. word. Watch, watch straps, yeah. Uh, so, I have uh, holes for the buttons here. In the back, I have like a plate with four M2 screws. Yeah, so let's take it apart and see how it looks inside. Alright, so that's everything taken apart. As you see, it's like a minimal number of components here. So uh, here is the enclosure itself, that's how it looks like. Uh, this is the pretty thickest, uh, the thickest part I have here. This one, for, mostly for it. It can be made, made smaller, but for reinforcement, a little bit of some bits of plastic. Two holes, oh, four holes over here. That's yeah, pretty simple. There are little holes over here. To secure your pins for the strap. Yeah, lid is pretty simple, just a piece of plastic, one millimeter thick. Yeah, and um, the straps they have a uh, sorry, where is it? Yeah, they have a uh, one millimeter, uh, sorry, two millimeters hole in it. And what I've done here, if I would be able to pull it, maybe I'll from another one. So there is a piece of filament. So essentially, a piece of filament I using like a like a like a pin. So it works for me. Well, not really secure, but best I can do here, not having the actual strap with actual pins. So um, yeah, that's how it. Uh, the, oh, by the way, this is uh, this pla this white plastic is uh, uh, PET uh, G. Uh, I was thinking it would be more flexible and durable than than um, PLA. Uh, this printed is um, from a ABS, this ABS plastic. Um, orange and white, by the way, looks pretty cool. <laughs> so I was thinking, well, this is 
translucent, but translucent, but yeah. So this is PG should be pretty durable. Uh, we'll you know we'll see. Um, uh, this is again, as I said, this is PLA and extreme. Like this is all what it is. So I will share design files on Thingiverse, I think, and you guys can give it uh, give it a try. So oh yeah, by the way, um, uh, something interesting I'll show you as well. These are some previous designs I went through. So this is design. Well, it's pretty much like a almost final design where I do have a holes in a little bit the wrong position and there is no mounting holes for screws, right? So this is a uh, design, design, actually it fits nicely here, <laughs> but, um, but didn't think about buttons. So if straps would be here, for example, like this, so where would I, you know, put my buttons? So uh, yeah, obviously I decided to reverse, like that's why this kind of looked nice because uh, it looked like a soap bar actually, <laughs> but I don't know, but not as functional. If buttons would be on this side, it would be awesome, but yeah, that's what we have. This is the earliest prototype. Yeah, uh, probably the ugliest one and it doesn't fit so properly. But yeah, a few pro prototypes here, design prototypes I went through. Um, so this is the final. So. Yeah, I can quickly put this back together. Obviously, when you want to switch, uh, change battery, you have to unscrew everything. But that's like in any other regular watch you have. Oh yeah, very important. By the way, when you print this thing, I forgot to mention, that's very important. When you print this thing, uh, the holes may not be exactly uh, what they're supposed to be. Uh, so what I've done, I took this um, 1.5 millimeter uh, drill bit and actually run it a few times in every hole all the way uh, through. It will ensure that the screw will gonna easily go in. Right. Oh, oh uh, also by the way, 1.5 actually metric bits. Um, buy, uh, it's almost impossible to buy metric bits in, in uh, North America. Really annoying. Have to order them from who knows what, like China or something. Yeah. It's, Pain in the ass. And then also I actually kind of run a uh, two millimeter bit through those holes just to make sure the there's no threads here, the just uh, M2 screws just go in and a slight little bit here just to help you to start um, threading because essentially this work like a self toppers here uh, even if they are regular regular thread, not, not self toppers, you know, but they, you know, eventually they're gonna strip uh, this plastic but a few times, it's fine. I can reprint it if I need it. Anyways, just a tip. So yeah, we can quickly uh, put it together. Doesn't matter what side. This side is shiny because it was on a, on a um, glass uh, printer bed. This, uh, this side is more like a rough because it was the top of the print. Well, not rough really, but not as shiny as this side. Yeah, I'm not tightening those screws all the way through because again, I'm afraid to strip the whatever a little bits of <laughs> self-topper thread um, going on there. Uh, obviously, it's not the best way of doing it, but well, we have what we have. You just insert one side of this thing in one of those holes and then try to push another one and just lift it up. Eh, something like that works. And on this side, pretty much the same. Put it in, then kind of try to kind of up and down, up and down a few times, and it's kind of kind of stuck there. So here we are. And put it back. We 
a little bit kind of fiddly uh, way of securing this thing not the best design but hey it can use regular strap if you have one but I want it to be fancy or, or completely 3d print everything damn it, it's not working anyways guys you got it got the idea so yeah, obviously this all depends on your printer tolerances and uh, you can actually play with this to make sure it actually works well, plus I try to do it with... Oh yeah, here we are. One hand is... no, not really. So yeah, so this is the SensorTech 2 watch dev pack, uh, watch enclosure. So please take a look at the links below, which will... Uh, uh, which will... I, I will share uh, design files for this, instructions how to put it together. Um, if you like my video, please like. Well, thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.